Hey YouTube, Mr. Dodo Provider here. Um, today I'm sort of finishing off the tutorial of me building my um, signal box you saw earlier. Now the reason I said at the end of that video was I'm going to do the roof separately is because it's quite complicated and it would take the video be ridiculously long. So, um, <coughs> sorry about that. Um, so yes, yeah, so if you haven't seen me building this, I built it completely from scratch, then um, I'll put a link on the screen somewhere, or else just go and check out my channel, and it should be on there somewhere. Um, but I'm basically going to be building a roof for it, so I'll just leave it in shot. Why do I keep taking it out of shot? Now, <coughs> sorry, is what I'm planning on having is one roof section here, and then another roof running up and joining onto it. Um, so... The, the well, the sort of roof I'm after is a roof that slopes in from all edges, if you know what I mean, so there's no flat edge on the side. Alright, sorry about that, I managed to lose the roof <laughs> amazingly, just fell off the uh, table. Anyway, yeah, so I was saying to create a roof of a slope like it has at this end here, so it's not a 90 degrees sort of bend, um, it's a bit more complicated than just cutting out a piece of cardboard and sticking it all together. I built this out of one piece of cardboard and there's only one joint in it which runs right on the middle. Um, and I'll just show you. To create this here, which sits on there like that, thing like that, it's not quite correct there because obviously I'm missing a piece. The shape in the cardboard which I cut out was like this. And you can see it's clearly a V shape there instead of... Um, Oh, so it's a very prominent V-shape there, which you can see, instead of being like what well, you can see, which is the original design, which is there, along the outside. But when I thought about it, I realised that that won't work. Um, so I'm going to show you how to build a sloping roof, and it, it is quite interesting. <laughs> it's the best way to describe it when you build it. But it's what you're going to need. Sharp pencil, um, double-sided sticky tape or glue, it's up to you. Craft knife and a ruler, um, set square and so on. So, I'm going to be building this bit of roof here. Now, you know in maths lessons, you always thought, what is the point of this? Why, when in the world am I going to use this? Um, well, this is one of those examples, a very strange one. Um, but Pythagoras' theorem, you know, right angle triangles, um, is incredibly useful for this. I've just worked it out quickly, because I needed it. So, just to go over Pythagoras really quickly, you need to have, um, it's basically a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Um, then a squared is uh, 20 squared plus b squared, which is half of 50, which is 25, so 20 squared plus 25 squared. And um, when you work it all out, um, you then get the square root of 10 point something or another, um, and then... Well, yeah, once you've just squared rooted that, you get 32 millimetres. Um, yeah, that, that, that is it. Um, I've just checked it, so I've got five, uh, 50, uh, sorry, 5 centimetres along the bottom, 2 centimetres up the middle, uh, yeah, 2 centimetres up the middle. I've got all my angles correct there, and um, yeah, so I can now start moving on with the next stage. So I'm going to draw it all on, and then I'll show you what it's like in a second. So this is the final shape which I've ended up with. It looks the same sort of V as the previous one, except for it's got this little top piece here, which is actually the other half, um, the other end piece like this. So when that bit goes on, um, it will look quite good. Before you cut out, you obviously need to get your measure out and just check all your dimensions. So, now I've got all cut out. There we go. Um, yes. So then just check, that's all cut. Now we've got to score the edges to make sure it folds neatly. Now when you score, you put like no pressure at all. You literally just want to cut the top layer of cardboard. No more than that, or else you will cause a weak spot where it could rip. You see it's really quick and easy to score. Then, it's just a matter of literally just folding all the edges you just cut down. Okay, you see, if you don't score enough, it doesn't fold properly. If you score it too much, it cuts itself. 
just got two more edges to fold, I've just forgotten about them. If your maths is correct, you should be able to fold it all down and you have a roof, as you can see there. So yeah, that was um, quite good, it worked really well if I get the other piece. Here's the other roof, which will need a bit of adjustment done to it, um, to make the angle correct, but that will sit something like that. Um, that will give you an idea of how the roof looks. But there's a little bit of adjustment to do on this one to make it fit in there neatly. And then it's a matter of sticking this one together and then putting it onto the roof. So I, it's all held down together now. Um, I just use double sided sticky tape. It's the easiest, quickest and it works. Um, it just, yeah, basically just works. The only problem with it is you have to put pressure on it both sides like a clamp to make it stick properly. Which makes it quite difficult for instance when I was pushing the building together. It just sort of had to be very careful it didn't crush anything. So in that sort of situation you might find glue is slightly better. Um, so when I stick the roof down, I will probably be using glue because there's no way I can get in pressure on the inside of here. I mean, you could, I could probably try with a pencil or something, but I think I might just put glue around the outside edge and stick it on. But anyway, so I created one piece. As you can see, it fits exactly, so it's perfectly exactly where I wanted it to sit.